What's going on, tech fans? Welcome to Saturday morning here on Tech of Tomorrow, where we've got a battle going on. That's right. You guys all know the new GeForce GTX 780 has hit the market, and we have a battle today of it going head to head against the AMD HD 79 70 gigahertz edition card. A lot of things in common, some things different. With that said, let's get in and let the battle begin. So before we jump into the performance section of the video, let's talk about the specs of the card. Now, the 780 is based off the GK110-300 core. The Radeon HD 7970 gigahertz is based off the Tahiti XTX. As far as transistors, there are 7.1 billion on the 780 and 4.31 billion on the 7970. Now, as far as stream processors or CUDA cores go, the 780 has 2,304 CUDA cores, while the Radeon HD 7970 has 2,048 stream processors. Pretty much the same thing. Now, as far as the core clock goes, the GeForce GTX 780 has a core clock of 863 megahertz. It also has boost clock of 902 megahertz. The Radeon HD 7970 has a core clock of 1000 megahertz and a boost clock of 1050 megahertz, so just 50 megahertz there. As far as the memory clock speeds go, these things are very close. The GeForce GTX 780 has a 1502 megahertz memory clock, while the AMD Radeon HD 7970 has 1500 megahertz memory clock. Now, as far as the memory and the memory interface, both cards are identical. Both cards feature three gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and a 384-bit memory interface. As far as the TDP, the max TDP is also the same on both cards, being at 250 watts. Now, as far as ROP units, the GTX 780 has 48, while the Radeon HD 7970 has 32. As far as TMUs, we see 192 on the GeForce GTX 780, and 128 on the HD7970. Once again, we see memory bandwidth being almost identical between the two cards with the GeForce GTX 780 coming in with 288.4 and the AMD Radeon HD7970 coming in at just 288. Now here is where things do get a bit different. As far as pricing goes, the AMD Radeon HD7970 Gigahertz Edition has a usual retail value of about $499. While the new NVIDIA GeForce GTX is coming to market at about $649, something to consider if price is very important to you. All right, folks, so next up, now that we've seen all the spec to specs comparisons, let's jump in and let's do some competitiveness with the benchmarks. First up in the gaming, folks, we see Battlefield 3. Now, we tested all of the cards at both 1920 by 1080 and 2560 by 1440 per your request, our audience. We see the 7970 coming in at 1920 by 1080 at 75 frames per second. We see the 780 at the same resolution coming in at 90 frames per second. At 25.6 by 1440, we see the HD 7970 gigahertz edition coming in at 47 frames per second, while the GTX 780 at the same resolution comes out at 58 frames per second. A pretty wide margin in that particular one. Next up, Metro Last Light. We see the HD 7970 at 1920 by 1080 coming up at 54 frames per second, while we see the 780 got the same resolution coming up at 59 frames per second, which is only a five second difference, not much at all. At the 2560 by 1440 resolution, we see the HD 7970 coming out at 38 frames per second and the GTX 780 at 2560 by 1440 at 42 frames per second. Once again, a very small margin. Next up. Batman Arkham City, that's right, the Cape Crusader kicking ass. The HD 7970 at 1920 by 1080 comes up at 105 frames per second, while the GTX 780 at the same resolution comes up at 129 frames per second. A pretty decent increment there. At 2560 by 1440, we see the 7970 coming in at 72 frames per second and the 780 at 82 frames per second. Next up, we have a test from the people over at FutureMark. This is a 3D marked Fire Strike. We see the 7970 with a score of 3,585 and the GTX 780 with 4,338. Quite a bit of difference there. 
Next up is Luxmark via 2.0. We see the 7970 coming in at 2,301 K raise a second, while the 780 came in at 1,125 K raise a second. Here's where you see an open CL where the GTX actually at one point loses to the AMD card. Next up in gaming, Bioshock Infinite. 7970 at 1920 by 1080 comes up at 96.87 frames per second, while the GTX 70, the same resolution, comes up at 112.46 frames per second. Quite a margin there. At the 2560 by 1440 resolution, we see the HD 7970 coming at 65.09 frames per second, and the 780 coming up at 2560 by 1440 at 76.78 frames per second. Crisis 3, last but not least, one of my favorite games to date. The HD 7970 at 1920 by 1080 comes up at 60 frames per second, while the GTX 780 comes up at 75 frames per second. At 2560 by 1440, we see the HD 7970 coming in at 40 frames per second, while the GTX 780 comes in at 49 frames per second. Next up, let's talk about temperatures. The HD 7970 had a minimum temperature value of 35 Celsius, while the GTX 780 had a 37 Celsius minimum value. The maximum value under full load, we see the HD 7970 coming in at 75 Celsius, while the GTX 780 comes in at 78 Celsius, making the GTX 780 a slightly hotter running card. All right, folks, so there you guys have all of the differences as far as the hardware specs go and as far as performance goes. And you can see, you know, obviously the new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780 is obviously, you know, going to kick some serious ass, but it's also $649 and the newest kid on the block, right? I mean, this card is like, you know, the most amazing thing that's come out from these guys. It's top shelf, but... If you have, you know, a monitor that only does 1920 by 1080p and that's what you've got and you've already got a card that's working pretty good, you know, you may not want to upgrade. Now, if you're a brand new person going out there and you're considering buying a video card and you're a fan of AMD, the 7970 gigahertz edition does though offer solid performance. You guys see it, the specs are very, very close to those of the Nvidia product. You know, a lot of things are the same. Now, there's no physics though, not the advanced physics at all. Although, like I've said before, you can use physics on an AMD card. It just uses your CPU, not your GPU. Make sure you guys check out the vid on that if you guys missed that, by the way. But at the end of the day, as far as just sheer performance goes, you guys know the new you know card from NVIDIA is obviously going to win. I think from the very beginning of the video, you folks knew that was going to happen in this battle. Now, as far as using three monitors on both, you have Ifinity over on the AMD side of things. You have Surround from NVIDIA. You have the NVIDIA Surround. These both support multi-monitor technologies. The big difference is though, the 3D glasses. You will not have any of the 3D vision stuff going on at all if you get an AMD card. So if that's something that's very important to you, then you're not gonna wanna go with the, you know, card by AMD, obviously, because it doesn't offer any 3D options. But for $499 versus $649, with a $149 price difference, as far as performance goes, I mean, I don't know if you can really balance that completely out just as far as performance goes. And there's one thing to really take note of now, AMD lately has been totally kicking down on the gaming bundles. I mean, these guys are given like great titles. They're given, you know, triple A titles and trying to really get the people in. So if you're somebody out there and you don't have a whole lot of money, but you'd still like to have some of the top of line games, you may also want to consider that. But at the end of the day, if you're a person that just money has no bounds and you don't care and you want the absolute best card there is, then obviously the new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780 is the king of the ring. It will slice the head off off the AMD competition, and right now there is nothing, 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 nothing that can beat it. So with that said, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want information on either where to buy either a HD 7970 or a new GeForce GTX 780, check out the link down in the description below. We'll have all the links to all that cool stuff you want. That There's a like button there. Make sure you hit the like button, otherwise I'll have to find you and, you know, decapitate you. That's just how it goes. No, I'm just kidding. Love you folks. Hope you liked the video. We'll see you guys soon here on Tekka tomorrow. It's Saturday. Hey, have a good day.